Yo, what's going on, guys? We're going to be playing some Evelyn in the top lane. She's heavily overlooked. She has really good range on her Q, letting her bully melee top laners. She's got lots of burst. She can roam at six. Good scalability. I mean, she has been nerfed. I think it was a patch or two ago, but she's still really, really strong. We have the D ring for mana, and then we also have mana flow for mana. Very important. For your runes, loads of options. Electrocute, phase rush, and first strike. Usually what you're looking for, though. We have First Strike, Free Boots, Biscuits, Cosmic, Mana Flow, Scorch, with double AP and health. Your worst matchup, I'd say, is Malphite. Ban Malphite. Don't play against Malphite ever. Such a broken character. We're up against Singe. That should be fine. You can go Flash Ghost, Flash Ignite, Flash TP, Ghost Ignite. Whatever will be best for your matchup. I would have been fine with Ghost here, to be honest. I want to keep him off of minions. Q him down. Look at that damage. Look at that. He's already lost nearly 200 health. Him again going for an auto because I'm full health. I might as well drop some HP here. Same thing. If I don't have to eat the poison, then I won't. He's doing a lot of damage with that poison. If we can hit him with our Q, it makes it do way more damage than uh, just oof. He doesn't actually have Ignite though, so I think I'm fine here. Yep. I'll actually heal a lot off my passive. Look at that healing. Got the flash. Uh, he's got to go around me here. I kind of have the... Q, auto, auto, auto. Couldn't quite finish him. We did get his ghost at least. He's pretty low. I can heal back through my passive. Yeah, he kind of has to reset here, to be honest. Got it. Nice. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. His TP. He'll probably TP back. I have the wave and a freeze, though, so I can set it up. Whenever you get really low on Evelyn is when you're most dangerous because you're passive once you're out of combat with the champs. You heal back really fast. Now, I could have probably reset here myself. Hmm. I think I just missed Cannon there because this turned back. He's going to try to proxy me. Got the charm. Kinder's just got to kite this out good because he's going to do that. So, whatever. I'll probably be fine from here anyways. I'll probably just look for a recall here in a second. If we time our autos and Q at the same time as we're last hitting. I don't, can't, don't think I can really rotate to that. Got it. Oh, Kindred got it anyways. I'll go ahead and push. Hecarim might look to take Kindred camps. Not sure. Boop. First Q dictates how much damage you're really going to be able to do because your first Q makes the subsequent ones do way more damage. Nice. Landing our full charm fully refunds its mana cost, so it's not expensive as long as you land the full one. It's a charm. Shreds magic resist. If it's not full, it's just a slow. Alright, first item. I really do like a Rod of Aegis. I find it to be very cost effective. And incredibly inexpensive. I would go Everfrost, but they removed it from the game this season. Singe really needed to get a proxy on me, but I was kind of blocking it. Hey, bud. Got the Q auto eat. Surprised he went for that fling. We'll tank his minions over standing through his poison. His poison is brutal. I'm going to shove this. I could let it push into me, but I know he wants to reset anyways, and he's kind of low. If I collapse, I might be able to get a plate or whatever. Because it's past the five-minute mark, too. The most dangerous thing about Evelyn Top is it's easy for the enemy jungler to gank you if you're playing aggressive. She doesn't have a lot of defensive escape potential pre-6. All right, that's a plate. With an E auto. Got 
Got him with the first strike. Got the minions as well. It's really, really good for us. I do have my R. I can't really kill Singe in this moment. Get back, get all my health mana. I'll walk it back. I might actually miss some minions here. Free boots is a little bit greedy. You don't have to go free boots. It's the biggest downside to the uh, going for a strike over electrocute or phase rush or airy is free boots is so tempting to take. And if you go for it, you can't buy boots. You're really slow going back to lane or in certain matchups. Having boots is pretty important. Get somebody who's going to rush it like Darius. You know, the charm. He's kind of out of minions there. Auto E. My R honestly wouldn't have killed him, but that was a really bad late R on my part. He's just so freaking tanky that even with the turret shots. I need to go find a ward. Looks like Hecarim's bot side. We could take these right now. It's a cannon wave. Oh, uh, Singe actually stayed. Uh, okay. He doesn't have Ignite. Got the charm. Auto into E. Nice little fling by him. He's got nowhere to go. I'll cut him off wherever Kindred isn't going to. Alright, I got it. Cool. I can still come to help on these. Drop the E. Got our mana flow maxed out. It's giving us constant trickle of mana plus an increased mana pool altogether. Whenever you go invisible, or I should say when your demon shade is fully reactivated, it makes your E empowered. So right now our E does less damage, flat and percent base, and then bam, it's on empowered color changes. I could go for Silas here. Is this a cannon? No, it's not a cannon. Way. I think I'm on a ward. But Silas is going in for it. I'll pop a biscuit. Soul doing a giant bowl of nothing. Oh, this is bad. Got with a QE. I'm gonna have to. I have to get away from that though. Singe is gonna push for free off that too. I have to go back top, catch Cannon Wave as he rips mine up. That kind of stinks. I wasn't expecting Nami to be there out of all people. I was expecting the Heck and obviously the Silas, but that third person makes things a little messy. Got it. That's really, really good. Give me back my mana. Auto on the E. I'll go ahead and max charm last. Normally you want to max E second anyways. First strike's on cooldown. He has turn one boots, but I have my R. Nice, there's my first strike. A little bit of a charm waste there. I can kind of get away with it just because I have a little bit of mana items. Still, it's, it's a very expensive build to use just for the weak little slow on it. I'm going to TP back to lane. I have Rod of Ages here. Could even go for Leandre's next. Pick up a Dark Seal. I wouldn't mind having Leandre's. The 12 minute mark. It's, it's a 10 minute mark. All right. Pick up an Amp Tome. I do have my R. Oh, there he is. We'll get him with a Q. That's a lot of damage. There's another Q. Want to cross back through this. Got to walk him down. Got it. Auto E auto. I need to get him with a little bit more damage before I R. I can heal this all back to my passive. I'm not too worried. Heal back a lot of it, at least through our passive. I do still have my R. My R wouldn't have killed him, so I think I need a little bit more damage. His fling is such a freaking short cooldown. 
nice. Rod of Aegis scaling at our back. Having Gathering Storm here would be nice for sure. Our bot lane is getting defecated on really, really hard. Fed Draven is no easy thing to solve. Dude, both my bot laners could be authors. They could write a book. They're typing so much. Yeah, he didn't quite get me on that one. He's so tanky, though, man. Not even a full item. <laughs> He's so tanky. Boop. It's all pushed. Oh, there's Singe. There's my first strike. Got the Q E R. Got the kill, and we're out. There's another Q. I'll heal off my demon shade here in a second. Uh, he might actually. He's gonna go for this. He's gonna path down right from here straight into it. I can't cut him off in time. I don't think, but I can see him. He's weak. He's weak. Nice. It's actually dead. No, I kill still. It feels bad. I can do more with the Golden Kindred anyways. I have Dark still. Plus, I'm me. Oh, this is bad. I don't like this. I don't like this. There's too many people missing. I would not be surprised if Draven roamed. They already got the bot lane turret. So, <laughs> the Draven could be there with the Silas. I don't have R. This is just really tanky. Mm, well, this guy, he's, I know he's right here, but. Here's my first strike. Gone with my normal E. I'm hoping he didn't get that cannon. Alright, I need to heal back a bit. Oof, that was in a bad spot. He's a full item. He's still chasing, I think. Yeah, he is. He's squishy. He has Lich Bane. Dude, I have no clue how that even hit me. I was so far away. Makes no sense. Draven, Nami are mid. We might actually be able to deal with him. If we focus Draven, he's two full items. So we, our timing has to be really good here. If, as long as we all pounce on him at the same moment, he's dead, but... Dude, he's so fast. My charms are wasted now, too. We have to be in on the same moment. Alright. I need time to heal. We need to get on Draven, though. I'm going to press R. Feels bad, Draven. He greeted for me so hard. He still had vision on me from the control word. We'll get drag, give up top turret. That's really good, though. Shut Bounty on Draven is so freaking good. Plus, I didn't lose Dark Seal stacks. We could honestly take red here, too. Pike's not even going to stop to break that ward. Not with the E. I'm going to flash that. I don't feel like dying. Ugh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, no. I knew it, too. Thank God he went for Pike and not for me. The, the longer it took, it just the situation got more and more higher risk, low reward. I got a wave top settling down for me. I could go straight Robidon from here, to be honest. I don't even need ability haste that much. Only reason why I would go Robidon from here is the fact that I already have my uh, Dark Seal stacked up. It's a lot of free AP. Singe is really fast. May not, might not be able to kill him here. 
He seems to know maybe what's going on. Oh, he's scary. He's scary. Kindred missed her little thing as well. Nice. Do I live? Do I live? Just barely. Oh my gosh. That was nasty. Don't know if Draven's going to throw R, so I'm going to keep moving for a moment. We need to go get Draven. He's two and a half items here. Jinx, even with the bounty, assuming she spent it, she's not in a full item. I could go Storm Surge here. I have a weird amount of gold, though. I think I'd rather have Lich Bane than Storm Surge, and I'll just go Raba. Storm Surge feels... Not like it used to. No ability haste on it either. I'd rather have the 15 ability haste. I'll go Robin next. Jeez, Pike, you gonna hook this dude? Pike is saving his abilities to land for later. Wow, that fight went really bad. That was a very, very poor outcome for us. I don't think... Oh, wait. Draven is over here. Yikes. Looks like they're kind of diving the Jinx. She's not very tanky, though, so... Hmm. I can't do anything. No one's here. I don't have R either. I think my R might have missed Silas. He just didn't take any damage. Oh, man. I wish we had a Soraka or something instead of Pike. People pick Pike thinking it's going to be easy. And then they make the game incredibly hard to play. Should scale with Soul. Aurelian Soul. God, this guy's such a pest. I don't have R, so I'm not, I'm not in a particular hurry here. It's hard to get in uh, without dying if my R is on a cooldown because I can get hit by a couple of CC. Pike kind of lands the hook. It doesn't quite get him over the wall. Hmm. I'm gonna just whip my R, I don't feel like dying. Luckily I didn't die, I did a little bit of damage too. Jinx stacked up lethal tempo. Alright, Hecarim, you're dead. Goodbye. Draven's still alive, that sucks, but trading gold's good since we're behind. We get the bounties and whatnot. Wait, why is Nami stepping up like this? Get me with her slow. She really wants to force this. Got him with the flash Q. Q flash. I'm too low to stay. I also need my boots. I'll back for Mej and just try to stay alive. Draven will be dead for drag fight. We should win drag fight here. It'll be full health as well. Ooh, I can get Sork Shoes as well. That's big. There's literally nothing for me to TP to once again. Holy crap. Oh, I really need to get this dragon. Draven's not going to be here yet, so we win this for sure. Ah, oh, you kindred ard. Oh, he's wasting everything. That's good. We can pull drag out. I'll get scuttle. Alright, cool. Bringing it back slowly but surely. Draven's throwing all of his bounty. Nami's the only person in the game. Me and Nami are the only two people who haven't died yet. Somebody here. <coughs> My W's on cooldown. Singe has Rylai's fast boots. He's making a break for it.
I want him to throw me away. He doesn't want to throw me there. Ooh, Draven. Half the R. I'm dead. Golly, man. Wait, do I not die there? Did Hecarim not have R? Goodbye, Singed. It's kind of cool that I, I got to live. For now. Dude, I have no clue where Draven is. Where did Draven go and all that? <laughs> I guess he lost his health at some point. Lost track of him. Nope, he's full health. I should not have lived there. Hecarim R must have been cooldowned. Mm, Silas is chilling. I need to rob it on badly. We win this. He's only one full item. Ah, uh, freaking singe. Get out of here, you stink bag. I might need a kindred R here in a second if he keeps going. Oh, is he here? Wow, I almost died. That's crazy. I mean, I'm tankier than Kindred is. Kindred shouldn't be scared. <laughs> I have Rod. If I'm half health and Kindred's half health, I'm a lot tankier than she is at that point. Boop. I just popped the charm early. I figured I didn't have time for it. I know Draven's kind of on the follow up here. Nice. Kindred has 10 marks. That's really good. Marks really aren't that important, but it's nice to have. Uh, I could probably run him down now. I wasn't sure if I had the damage. I don't think I really did. It's my cooldowns. They're probably most important when you're mostly getting assists on Kindred. Like, if Kindred's actually getting the gold... If she has a gold advantage, she can do whatever she wants anyways. But if she's just all assists like she's this game, then yeah, marks are pretty good. Because To get a mark, you don't have to get a kill. It's, you just need an assist on the monster or the champions. Uh, we should Baron here. I mean, Draven's dead. He has half their team's kills. We have no one to tank it. It's me or Pike tanking. Not great. This is awkward. I don't want to fight here. I want to spend my nearly 4k gold. <laughs> like to get these minions for Robadon. Flash Q and the ER. If I could press R. Oh, that smite wrecked me hard. My nightshade was about demon shade was about to kick in because after you are on Evelyn, your demon shade kicks in after a second 0.25, which is really fast because normally uh, it takes a lot longer than that. Taking damage from champions, it's a second and a half. Or if I attack someone, I have to wait four seconds. So I would have normally have to wait four seconds, but since I are, it was a second and a quarter. But Hecram hit with smite, which stalled it to four seconds, or I guess technically a second and a half. Got Robidon at least. To round off the build, be Void Staff most likely. 636 AP with a fudge load of health, man. It's one thing I like about Rod of Aegis. It might be slightly underwhelming kind of early game. But in slow paced games or in stalemate kind of matchups, I can allow your Singe where you can't really kill him. It feels good to have it. <laughs> We got so much health, we can, assassins can't one-tap us, tanks can't kill us, supports can't really kill us. It has to be a proper shredder, the Draven pounding me down. I used it too early, rip. My R is up. Now oh, 13 marks, that's ridiculous. Draven's about to walk into me any second. Someone's about to get it. 
They're gonna walk here or here, or they're just gonna push mid. All right, they're just gonna push mid. Got the QER, goodbye Silas, back over the wall. If I'm trying to fight such a fed Evelyn is a real fruitless effort, endeavor. I mean, I'll cut this guy off. I think he realizes. He's like, oh, oh, he didn't realize. All right, buddy, buddy, pal, buddy. You gonna double spin, spin on me here? Got it. Auto E reset. Down he goes. If he doesn't have Ma or Merc treads, he's gonna insta die. I'm fast enough with the Lich Bane speed, Mesh speed, that it completely cancels out his Swifties. Like way more than cancels. I'm moving 450. <clears throat> it's really fast. No Relentless Hunter. Alrighty. I do not have R, but I have 25 Mesh stacks. I don't even really need blue. I just don't want the enemies to get it because it's past 20 minute mark. So it'd be five blues for them versus five blues for us. I can reset for void staff, but I do have R, so I'm not going to bother. Pike's going to give away my position here. I'm invisible, but if Pike's standing on me, I might as well be invisible. Boop. I got to reset, pick up void. I can TP back in. Boop. No one's going to defend turret for them, I guess. I don't want to hit the turret, hit her while she's necessarily under it. Oh, am I dead here? QE, down he goes. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I'm so fast though. <laughs> Holy crap. That's why I love speed. It's so broken. I should have died there. She couldn't stay within range and then my demon shade kicked in. Draven's alive. I'm going to cut him in half. Give him the old reach around technique. Oh, never mind. He went that way. They're going to pop through here to get to the wave or get to pike. I don't want to get too close to the turret. So I have to watch my spacing here. I can use this little pillar, hide behind it. I think it actually showed me there on Nami, which it sh really shouldn't have done. I can flash for this turd biscuit. I do still, well, oh, I don't have R anymore. Oh, he lands the stun, down I go. <clears throat> that sucks. Unfortunate. Full build, we've gotten nowhere to build to. So if we sell Sorks, we go from 450 movement speed, 451 exactly, to 395. 395 still pretty quick. Storm Surge, we're at 420. I think we'll just chill with Storm Surge then. 421 still very fast. Then we can pick it up a Elixir. We're at 853 AP. Surprised we haven't won yet, dude. I killed Draven and Nami that fight. Draven has half their team's kills, so. Soul needs to group. We've got too many people wanting to pretend they're NASA split pushing on our team right now. This is Soul. Soul point. Honestly, don't even need Baron. <clears throat> I don't think there's a real risk of taking it here. It's just not really needed. Taking it really fast here. I couldn't even <laughs> use all my abilities. Jeez Louise. Almost at a thousand AP now because of Baron. If I was full mesh, I'd be over a thousand AP. Almost had it. I could have maybe wove my R in there somewhere. 
Same time, I didn't really burn anything to get his R. Oh, uh, the turret really sees me from there. That little thing is making me... I can't go invisible because of that. That's so weird. The little void mite hitting that counts as me attacking. I'll just have to hug the inhib tighter next time. Once they lose that turret, I reach. Boop, 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 boop. Nice. That's GG's. We'll take a look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we did have the most in the game. Not bad. Specifically, we had 56,000. That guy's 35 on Kindred. For damage taken, we were upper middle of the pack. Not the highest. Self-mitigated. Upper middle. For runes high value. On all Evelyn top. Scales pretty well. Has a decent matchup spread. Just got to learn the Q spacing. If you guys enjoyed this Evelyn top lane video, don't forget to ban Malphite. And let me know what champion you guys want to see next. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.